Hi, welcome to the Pal Weather Channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my winter forecast thoughts and go over some of the examples of my favorite weather analogs. Before we do get started, if you do like weather related content, please consider subscribing to my channel as I post about four to five videos a week. And also let me know what kind of videos you would like to see more of on this channel. All right, so let's get started. So here is an overall map of the GFS over the next 16 days of the snowfall. So it's not really that uncommon to start seeing some snowfall this time of year. This is September 20th when I'm making this video. So this takes you through all the way through October 6th. So this is mainly in the mountain regions, but we do see some snowfall kind of filtering out off the northwest, northwest flow into uh, Idaho and Montana especially into Wyoming and the mountains of Wyoming, uh, the upper portions of Utah, and also in the mountains of Colorado. I know they are expecting some, some snow, gosh, 10, 11, 12, 13,000 feet elevation levels this weekend in Colorado. But this kind of gives you an idea, and this is a welcome sign that uh, at least cold air is, is on the way. And of course, this is over a two week span, and you can see some of these so snowfall totals, you know, amounting to 10, even a foot in some spots. All right, so here is, it, is the MJO, the Madden-Julie oscillation that I look at a lot and like, hey, you know, why have we been so hot in the Southeast? Well, we are in phase eight, all right? So here, this is a cycle that essentially runs every 45 days. They say between 30 and 60. The last cycle last year ran every 51 days. It's based on the recurring cycle theory. So it runs from fall to fall, and we have yet to know what the new how many days is gonna be for this year. So we're waiting on that first good fall front and that will di di dictate um, the start of the recurring cycle theory on how many days it's gonna cycle through. So on average, it cycles every seven weeks, essentially. But what, you know, why are we so warm in the Southeast? Well, it can tell you we're in phase eight. So it's, it's a, you know, pretty extreme in, in Texas, all the way in the Northeast. And as you can see, we're in phase eight, but we're transitioning to phase one. This is from September 20th to October 4. And you can see in phase one, it starts getting pretty chilly. And that's where the snowfall is going to come in in the Northwest. All right. So in much of Texas and about two thirds of the, you know, more than two thirds of the country, uh, pretty, pretty chilly. And then of course, if you extend this out, then eventually we'll go into phase two, which that encompasses the northeastern United States. So we'll be warm in the northwest, but then cool in the, in the northeast. So that's kind of what we got to look forward to in, in the month of October. All right. So here is the fall snow outlook of the last analog years, all the way dating back from till 1967. Now, my favorite analog years, if you looked at all my winter forecasts, 1978, 79, 2013, 14, 2014, 15. So you can kind of see in this map of the overall snow outlay, outlay for, the, for the country that happened in 1978, which was essentially right here. Not essentially that good, but this is fall. But it's a balance, it's a mix of all three. But if you look at 2013, fairly decent, right? And if you look at 2014, pretty much the highest ever. So if you mix all these together, we I'm expecting some pretty good snowfall in, in fall, but that will take you all the way through the end of November, all right? So fall starts in what, three days now? February, <laughs> uh, September 23rd. So this is what kind of what we have to look forward to. And so here, let me show you for winter. All right, so if we back, if we look at, this is the winter outlook. So for winter, 1978, right here, pretty good, right? And here's 2013, all the way up there. Here's 2014, pretty pretty up there. So you can see the, the highest years, this is going back the last 50, right? 2009, which was the most snowfall we had in 25 years, pretty cold. And also 1978, which was the, you know, the highest ever of all, you know, all time, well, at least in the last 50 years. So I expect a lot of snowfall for this upcoming winter. And that's what I depicted in all my winter outlooks. All right. And so here is the analog of that year. So this is 2013, 2014. Here's the analog from December through February, basically meteorologically winter in December, December to 2000, December 2013 to 2014. And it kind of shows, again, what this reiterated, 
much of the northeastern United States is cold and snowy. So it even filtered into Texas. All right. And so a piece of it, even in the panhandle, will get uh, some cold this year. And I and a lot of my winter forecast was based on these anomalies. All right. So you can I, I talked about the above average snowfalls and well below average temperatures in, in the parts of the north and these little clipper systems, even the Texas getting in some action. So if you look at the 2014-15 analog, the same exact thing. It's still depicted two thirds of the country, northwest warm, uh, northeast, cold, snowy, and even into Texas. So a lot of the 2013-2014-15 uh, analogs were fairly identical. And that's still, it depicts in the same, the Pioneer model is, shows the exact same thing. So this is one of the, the longer range models that uh, is, is, is currently out. And from November to March, it's basically implying that the same thing is the, the, the northeastern parts of the United States is well below normal and then even filter into Texas. So this has a lot of you know backing of all three of these uh, years to be a pretty much a pretty cold and snowy winter. And this is from no November through March. So this is what we got to look forward to. We just got to get past these warmer phases in the MJO. So, hey, I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and I appreciate you watching my, my channel. And if you found value in this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you could also do me a favor and tell uh, 250 of your friends about this channel, I really appreciate your support. And stay tuned to the next video where I'm actually probably going to try to do a video on snowfall for October uh, tomorrow. So be looking forward to that. Uh, and then catch me while I protect you before and after the storm.